we don't really know where our loved ones go when they leave this earth and we'll never really know until it's our time to leave it but I'd like to think that sometimes they visit us they're not here all the time that won't be heaven that won't be an awful lot that would just be living here being unseen and unheard so no but I like to think sometimes when we need them they visit us and I don't know if I'm going crazy and I have made a video about this before um, last night it happened again I was sitting in the bedroom and suddenly I heard the kettle go it started boiling and I wasn't in the kitchen and I was like And whether you think I'm crazy or not, that's my coping thing, I guess. To just think, you're here, hello. Or a lot of strange things that has happened since my friend passed. Feathers everywhere. When I was having a very, very, my boy wants to say hello. My baby boy. He knows when his mommy's upset, he knows it. It is just all everywhere. Whether it's in the mind that I'm just noticing it now, or whether this is happening, I don't know. Lights flicker, especially, I get this feeling that I cannot explain, but it's like a presence, and then the lights start to flicker. I just had it now in the bathroom. I don't know, because I'm very sad again today. Things are happening that I'll talk about that in a moment. Let's not get off topic now. Then the other thing is, I've been, I've stood in the kitchen with all the windows and doors closed, and the spoons and the utensils on the little stand thing just went like cling, 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 and I didn't, I didn't bump into anything or anything. It was unexplained, truly it was. And I just looked at it and I was like, then I was in the kitchen once. It was a few weeks ago. And I heard something drop. I heard it. And I wasn't the only one that heard this. And this was in my house. I could hear it coming out of the living room. Because the kitchen is just there. I'm in the living room now. I could hear it. And, and my, my little doggy. Now this is a very special doggy. Not the one you saw now. Her name is Puka. Named after the dog in Anastasia. If you're a 90s kid. You'll understand Anastasia. And... She sprung up and we looked at each other and we were like, and I'm looking around, what fell? And she just kept looking at me, just staring at me. And I was like, okay, let's get out of here. We're going to your room now. And I turned off the light and we went to the room. Oh, and as well, as I was in the living room, the light started to flicker as well with that sound. And although I wanted to be, I'm scared to do. I know it's absurd. It's absurd. I know, I know, I know. But... I want him to be close to me, but I'm scared to do of it. I'm, I, I'm, I'm complicated like that. Then one morning, she sees things we don't see. Puka, she does. Truly, truly, she does. Even TV shows, she sees things that we don't see. And I'm not the only one who's noticed this in her. And one morning, I was laying in bed and... I heard footsteps in the room and Puka is like laying on my cushion here above my head and she's barking like crazy at the point where I'm hearing the footsteps and I'm looking like okay but there's nobody here but I can hear it clearly it's work boots now the guy I'm in a relationship with currently or my whatever it is right now he wears the same clothes my friends used to wear the same uniform with the same boots and I could swear the guy came home from, from work and I was like, but it's too early and there's no one here. But I could hear those footsteps. I heard it. The night after my friend passed away, I was sleeping with my parents because since then I've had a terrible fear of the dark. I, I, even now I can't sleep. When someone's with me, I can sleep in the dark, but when I'm alone, 
blood has to be or not in the room itself but at least in the hall and i'm terrified that the power is gonna go off in the night and oh, it's just it's just childish yeah, okay and um i heard my name being called loud and clear and i was like but um i was i was too drained and too tired and just not in the mood to go and see who it was so the next morning i asked the house members which was my brother my mother my father and my sister-in-law and their little boy i asked everybody did somebody call me last night okay obviously it wasn't my mother or my father because i slept in their room but i asked my brother because it was a male voice i could tell that much and he said no and i asked his little boy and he said no i was sleeping and that's just nobody can say who called me and i heard it and i wasn't on I, I think I took one like calming med, but um, I was used to that because I used to drink that a lot those days. It wasn't that. It wasn't that. I can tell you so many stories. So many stories. I shot a video once on, on, on Christmas Eve where I lit a candle and I played a song, um, See You Again. And if you believe in this stuff or not, I don't know, but it just... It was clearly an orb. I even asked the lady that was into this stuff, you know, is it an orb? And at first she said no, and then she looked at it again and she told me, here's the faces I'm seeing, and I still have that photo, and I treasure that photo because I think I see him there. <laughs> I don't know if it's all in the mind, I don't know, but these are the things that I, that I hold dear to my heart, truly I do. And I just thought I would share, I don't know the thoughts. I believe in God, I believe in heaven. But I also believe that it just can't be all over and I don't know, I don't know. I'm going to have to go now, my battery is dying, but please share your thoughts below, it's appreciated. I'll get into my story about what's going on tomorrow, I think. Or maybe I'll go put my phone on charge and yeah. But anyhow, bye.